what's up everybody Alex B here and um we might have a little problem with my XPS um I'm gonna teach y'all a lesson why you shouldn't torrent and this is why she uh my XPS I think she got a virus and yes I'm calling it a she I treat my computer as well I think she got a virus and as you can tell it's like really laggy video because I'm not recording with my normal you know Nokia Lumia I'm using my get Galaxy S2, and uh, this isn't good. It's it's opening Internet Explorer. I think I think I'm being hacked by Russians. Let's just put it that way. What we'll probably what we're gonna try to do. It says or this is Origin, but no, Origin isn't the program. It took over my default browser because that's not the Google Chrome program. That's not that's not Google Chrome. And I, I can't stand Microsoft Edge. So let's see if we can take it off. I do have an antivirus. Oh, God, that out of focus. There we go. Uh, I do have an antivirus on here, it, but it is Windows Defender. So let's see if we can get into the computer and attack it. This I hate Windows 10 with a passion, but I this is the only copy of a Windows I had at the time. So let's see if we can get in there and change it. I would screen record, but everything is being taken up CPU and RAM wise. I used to have 8 gigs of RAM, but then that got stolen from me. And normally this would open up like that, but it is not. It is refute. Look at that. Yeah. We're, per we're screwed. Okay, let's see if we can attack this. Okay, I can't, I hate the new settings program, so we'll just open up control, yep, thank you, Windows Defender. This is why you should get a good antivirus, and perhaps get everything, get, you know, check your computer every once in a while. Let's go to uh, programs and features, okay, consumer input, clean browser, KNCTR, note up, search module, shoppers, oh, this is pleasant, okay, let's go step by step, removing it all, clean browser by the first, uninstall, and if it refuses to uninstall, like if it tells me, oh, you can't do it, or like it's open or something, I will just do it the old fashioned way. Go into program files, find the file, click delete, gone. That is the most suitable way if it won't let you. And what is this? I think it took over American Truck Simulator on my computer. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. It will not. What is it? Let's see what this thing says. It says this is Google Chrome, but it is not. That is not the Chrome logo. Okay, it's not letting me remove it. It said it. It says it's gone, but chances are we'll just back everything up really quick and throw on a copy of Windows 8. Or uh, if worst comes to worst, Windows 7. I was actually recording Payday 2, which should be up later today or tomorrow. I don't know. I have to make a new intro. Yes, I want to uninstall it. Is the second I got done recording Payday 2, it gave me a pop-up saying, do you want to install this, 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 this? And I said, no, 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 no. And I tried to close it. It wouldn't let me this, set and the other. All that's doing that. Let's see what else. So, I don't have that much on my computer. I just use it for what I need to use. My games, stuff like Internet Plus. Really? Let's just change it to see what's been installed. Holy crap, Ola. Let's just say I think it took over a lot on my computer. This doesn't look good. Because why does Need for Speed Most Wanted say it was installed on 721.16? And that's his day to day. Even though I've had that installed for at least a month now. Okay, let's see what's in. I didn't want Microsoft Edge. Why did I, why did I that open to Microsoft Edge? Uh, Explorer. Windows 10 Pro A A A Y R I Google Oh, this is nice.
guys. I think we might have been hacked. Oh my god. It's open in another program. Oh my freaking god. You're kidding, right? You, you're kidding. Uninstall for what? Chrome HTML. It says it's Google Chrome. It's not. This is not Google Chrome. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get started on the backup process because I don't want to have to deal with this. It's just easier to throw a fresh copy of Windows 8 or 10 or whatever on it. So be right back. Where we're sitting at is calculating a lot from uh, my main hard drive, which are two WD green, one terabyte. So it's going to take a little bit. So for from one hard drive, it's going to be every single thing. Well, not every single thing, but all of my documents and stuff. And yes, that bottom one that says it's 100 gigabytes. That's my documents, music, everything like that. And then on top, that is my, um, from my, you know, you throw stuff on, you th uh, my torrent drive. I'll just put it that way. And then we'll take some pictures, take a couple of things that I have on my desktop. So it'll be control, clickety, click, clickety, click, click. And Windows Explorer stopped responding. I mean, I do have Windows Server 2012 on this thing. I could just go in and do it that way, but I'm afraid it would infect that too. I can't even. I'm not even. I'm not going to open Google Chrome because it took over Google Chrome. Let's try that again. Control, click. Yeah, it just freezes up the second I try to control click. Well, it's going to take a little bit. So I have a lot on these hard drives. Alright, now it's not... Okay, it's freezing up again. Click, 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 click. Oh, we do have another solution. I could literally just install Windows 8 alongside of this, and it would say that it's the old, the um, old Windows that old file. But I can't find, I can't seem to locate my flash drive, which is pleasant. Oh crap! Ola. Diet Coke. Oh crap! I just gave that away. Um. Well, I'm going to find my flash drive. Oh wait, I think I know where it is. It's up here. Yep, it's up here. Then we'll try to run Rufus or something and then put Windows 8 on it. Alright, let's see if we can find that. Actually, now everything's speeding up, so let's see if we can actually continue to install. Shoppers, let's see if we can uninstall that. I just want to ask you guys, which C++ redistributable looks real to you? The one in Russian, or the one that says Microsoft Corporation? Well, if you thought it was Russian, you're a dumbass. Let's just, we're going to uninstall freaking everything. Everything, yes, I want to remove that. This, it says it's Google, this is Google Chrome, but it is not. This is, ah, uh, fuck. No, I'm, I'm absolutely pissed right now. I've never gotten a virus on, on, a, on my computers. Ever since I had my Dell Dimension, I've never had a virus. Never. Because I noticed when I was recording Payday that it started lagging like shiz. It's just Shoppers is still there. Oh, and it says it's being uninstalled. Okay, we can do it this way too. Task Manager, and we can just end every freaking process that says it's that. And we're loading. There we go. Today. Yeah, look, that's not Google Chrome. Unpin from taskbar. I'm gonna 
probably just reinstall everything because I don't have time to actually take care of all this. Look at that, 98% CPU, 70% memory. Let's see with bi-monthly, I'm going to focus it on that really quick. It says bi-monthly and stuff like that. And I'm just going to keep ending every freaking process. Cro Whoa. Would somebody like to tell me what that means in computer form? Okay. We're going to end that. Hackle. Oh, that sounds totally legit. Not something that temp and something in Russian and something. Oh my god, it's just keep it it keeps trying to reopen itself. I'm trying to end everything as fast as I can. This is going nuts. Okay, Windows Defender, I'm depending on you right now. Uh, start menu, all apps. Hello? This is not good. Not good, alright. I'm scrolling up and down, and it, look at how laggy it's being. It normally is never this laggy. Uh, Windows... Oh my god, lag. Uh, Windows accessories. Would that be under accessories? I never have even opened Defender besides to like update it. There it is, Windows Defender. Yeah, I could have sworn I had a copy of Malware by somewhere, but I lost it. The app is turned off by group policy. Well, we're completely screwed. We are completely screwed. Okay. It is not turned off. I did not turn it off. We're screwed. They, This virus has screwed us over. Okay, we're copying everything there. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, let's see if we can get back into Explorer and make a bootable drive. Of Windows 8. Because Windows 7 is... No. Well, I love I love Windows 7. What am I talking about? I might do Windows 7. I don't know. Um, depends on what, what ISOs I can find. Alright. File Explorer. See, I would restart, but this thing's copying. So let's go Documents. No, it'd be under Downloads. And then ISOs. Windows 7, I don't know if this is Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit, but I do see a copy of Windows 8 sitting right there, of, uh, yeah, 64-bit. I, I think this might be 32-bit, and that's not good. Uh, well, when in doubt, we'll throw it in a virtual machine. I know it sound, it's going to sound like a freaking crazy idea, and it's going to slow me down, but this is the last resort. I'm going to open up the, the copy of Windows 7 that's sitting in there in a virtual machine to see if it is Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit. Because if it's 64-bit, actually we can do this, Windows 7. We're going to open it with WinRAR, and we will delete the EI.CFG file, so then it would let me install any version of Windows I want. If it's 32-bit, it would say Windows 7 Starter, Home Basic, stuff like that. If it's 64-bit, it would just say Windows 7, I think... Home Basic, Home Premium, that. Unless I have a disk of Windows 7. Windows Server. Oh. Uh, Windows 7 32-bit. Yeah, I think this is 32-bit. Okay. Um. Windows Server, Windows 2000. OS 10 Yosemite. Eh. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to use Windows 8.1 Pro. Okay, let's look. Downloads, installers, and apps. Uh, where's my universal USB installer or Yumi or like freaking Rufus? Rufus, save my ass. Alright, I'm going to let that copy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up. I'm going to let it copy everything. And then I'll be right back.
So after starting up into Windows Server 2012, as you can see, we have completely destroyed every goddamn virus that was on there. But it says there's something modified in the Windows file, so let's see. Bootstat.dat. Oh, look at this. It says... Bro, look at this dude. It says that Chrome browser is that. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, people, um, yeah, we had to reinstall Windows. There was no way. It would not let me shut the services off. It would not let me open Windows Defender. Yeah, that was a complete royal ass whooping, if I do say so myself. So, the two displays are cloned right now because the drivers are not installed yet. But, uh, there was a screen up with the, you know, green and black. It was, ex it was uh, extracting a whole bunch of files. So now we can go into the control panel <coughs> and it'll complain to me since ATI doesn't make drivers for Windows 8 on my card. It'll complain to me that it doesn't work so we'll hit cancel on that <coughs> and we'll just do it the manual way. Now once you uh, extract the drivers you want to make sure you know where they are. So in this case they're in my C drive under AMD and FirePro they're the drivers for it pretty much. So we go display adapters and then Microsoft Basic, update, browse, choose uh, 8.1 Pro, AMD, pretty much just let it look through that and boom. Now it's looking through that, there you go, installing driver software. Now watch this, it should flash. <coughs> Showing that it need you know it's it's installing the display driver. So meanwhile we got Ninit, great tool if you uh, if you have multiple programs, you go to Ninit.com and then you select the programs you want and then it'll install them all. So I've got everything, including a real antivirus, a vast. Yeah, I didn't really care, but all the other ones were like, oh, you have to pay for it after a certain amount of time. A vast, no, I don't think you do. The only problem is it, it voice, it like yells at you in the corner if something's like a threat has been detected or something like that. So I think we are good. All that's left now is to get everything installed, everything updated. Na -na 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 -na. So till next time, Alex be out. Peace.